hey guys my name is Tanzil and welcome back to my channel now in this video we are going to see how to fix the problem in which we are not able to run MSI files now these MSI files are actually Microsoft Windows installer packages so as you can see this is my MSI file it is a Java JDK file and uh, the type of file is Windows installer package and it is going to open up with Windows installer all right and I'm going to try to run this file by double clicking on it and you can see I have received this error there is a problem with the Windows installer package a DLL required for this install to complete could not be run contact your support personal or package vendor just click on OK now if we right click on the exe file you can see that we have one option as run as administrator and many a times it happens that we are not able to install the exe file as well in that case running it as administrator solves the problem and this is the same problem with msi if we are able to run this msi file as an administrator then it will also be able to run properly without any error if you right click on the msi file you will not find any option which says run as administrator which means we are not able to run it as an administrator now to solve this problem we have three solutions so just open your start menu and then type cmd then right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator now this part is very important we have to run the command prompt as an administrator which means we have to give it the admin privileges so this is the workaround with the exe file we are just able to right click on it and then click on run as administrator but for the msi file we are going to run through the command prompt and we will give command prompt the admin privileges or the administrator privileges so once you have opened your command prompt you can just type msi exec.exe space forward slash i then we have to enter the location of the file so just right click on the msi file and then click on properties all right then we have to copy this location and then getting inside the command prompt i'll just paste it all right then we have to copy the name of the file as well all right then we have to type backslash and then paste the name of the file and then finally dot msi because that is the extension of the file as soon as you hit enter you will observe that the installation has begun which means the msi file now is running properly and you will be able to finish the installation every time you have to run any msi file which needs administrator privileges you will have to do it from the command prompt only you will have to do it the same way i'm doing it and also if there is space in the location or in the name of the file then you will have to enclose this entire path within double quotes so the best way is to always enclose it within double quotes whether you have space in the path name or not now that concludes the solution one now for the solution two open your start menu and then type reg edit that is the registry editor then right click on it and then click on run as administrator all right now before you make any kind of correction or change or updation in your registry i will highly suggest you to click on file and then click on export and then export the data which is contained in your registry editor before you do any kind of changes and just save it somewhere so that in case your system starts hanging up or there's some other problem because of the changes that you are going to make now you can always come back to registry editor then click on file and then click on import and then you can import the file that you have exported all right now once you are done with that just click on this arrow which is next to computer then click on this one h key classes root now just click on any of this option and then type msi and then you can see this one msi.package 
the m is capital s i dot package then here we have to click on the arrow all right then right click on shell and then we have to create a new key all right then give it name as run as try to type exactly the same way i'm doing it all right and then getting inside it it shows default so just double click on it and then we have to edit the string now the value that we have to enter here is install space as space ampersand administrator then just click on ok all right then right click on run as and then we have to create another key and here we have to type command all right then double click on this string default and this time we have to give the value as msi exec space forward slash i space then within double quotes percentage one now i'm going to keep all these quotes in the description of the video so you don't have to worry about making any kind of mistake while typing them you can directly copy and paste from there all right then just click on ok and we are good to go now you can restart your computer now once you restart your computer open the folder where you have your msi file and then right click on it and this time you will find one option which says install as administrator and if you click on it installation is going to begin and you can finish the installation without any error all right so this concludes the solution too now if you are satisfied you can stop the video from here but if you want to go for the solution 3, you can keep watching the video till the end. In the solution 3, we are going to give the necessary permissions to the currently logged in user so that we do not even have to run it as an administrator. We can directly double click on the file and it's going to start installing. So that will be the permanent solution for this problem. If I double click on it, it still shows the same error. So to solve this problem permanently, we have to go through the solution 3. Now for that, just press window plus R and then type net plwiz and hit enter. Now you can see the user name of the users which are present on your computer. Now if you click on properties, you can see the full name also, the username, the full name. Now we need to know this full name because this is what we are going to use to give the administrator access or the full access to the folder that we are going to see now. So we need to remember this name. In your case, if you are having many users, then you just have to make sure which user is logged in right now or which is the user that you use. So you can give the full access to that particular user only. So now what you have to do is to open any file explorer and then click on these three dots and then from here just click on options All right now click on the view tab and then coming under hidden files and folders just click on show hidden files folders and drives all right then click on apply and then ok now open your c drive and then click on users and now you have to open that user which is logged in right now so i'll just click on that all right then click on app data all right then click on local then scroll down and then you will find this folder that says temp now this is the folder which is creating all the problems we have to give the full access to our user to this folder if our user or the user which is currently logged in has the full access to this temp folder then we will not get that msi problem that we are facing so just right click on this folder and click on properties then click on security tab all right and then click on edit then you have to click on add all right 
now we have to find our user so just click on advanced all right now if you click on find now then it is going to show all the users group so it will be too messy if you are able to find your user from here it's very good if you are not able to find your user from here then you can click on this object types all right then untick everything except users then click on find now now the list which will be returned will correspond to the users only now from this list you can easily point out which is your currently logged in user and this is the one which i am using so i'll just click on it and then click on ok then again click on ok now click on the user that we have selected just now and then we have to give the full control all right then just click on apply then it will give this kind of error message error applying security here we just have to click on continue all right keep clicking on continue all right now once all of them are vanished you can close all the windows and then open the folder in which you have your msi file all right now this time you can directly double click on the file and the installation is going to begin without any problem now you don't even have to run it as an administrator or open command prompt as administrator and then run this file from there you don't have to do any of that you can directly double click on the file and you are good to go i hope i was able to explain the problem and the solutions to you in a good and a proper way and you are able to understand it if you are still confused about the steps i'm going to create one pdf file where i'm going to write in detail the cause the symptoms and the solution of this problem so you can download that pdf you can read it and uh, if i was able to help you then don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching